Hello everyone, in this video we will be creating a smart contract and we will deploy it to Phantom Testnet by using hard hat ignition. Later we will connect this smart contract to a React frontend. So to do that, the first thing is to, is to create a project folder, then open command line on it, and we will be first creating a React app. So npx create React app and a dot. We have installed React, now let's install all the other packages and I will be putting this step-by-step -step guide into GitHub repo so you can just copy-paste the packages here and install it on your computer. So let's press enter. We have installed the packages, now let's initiate or let's clean up the console. Now let's say mpx hard head init and say yes to all questions. Now we can open the project in VS Code and let me make it bigger. So the first thing to do is to finish hard head part, is to finish smart contract part and then we will be uh, creating the front end. So to do that the first thing to do is to create our contract. So let's copy everything here. Let's create a contract. We will name it as apple.js. Oh, sorry, apple.sol, not js. And now let's paste it here. We don't need anything here. And also those commands, we don't need it. Instead of saying lock, let's say apple. And just a simple string, string, public, my city. So I will say Nusaibin. Nusaibin is a city in my hometown. That's it, our contract is finished. Now let's go to ignition, copy this lock. And let's create, I mean, we will just follow the same logic. So if it is log.js, we will be creating an apple.js for the apple contract that we have. And of course, we don't need these two variables. We also don't need these variables. Uh, the first line is an import statement. It can stay build model, log model. So just follow the same logic. Let's say apple module. And then instead of saying log, let's say apple contract, copy this, paste it here also, and let's continue on m.contract. Instead of saying lock, lock is the contract name, so we will say apple. And as you can see, we have a third parameter here, which is the value, so we will not be sending any ether to this apple contract when we deploy it, that's why we can delete it. And the second parameter, I mean, this unlock time, it's a constructor argument. As you can see, our contract doesn't have any constructor, so we can just delete this. And that's it. The deployment file is finished. Now let's go to hardhead config. This hardhead config is very simple. And I already have this hardhead config ready, but I will show you what we are doing. So we are adding these two import lines here, hardhead ignition and .env because we will be saving sensitive data inside the .env file, that's why we are importing it here. And also, we will be adding this networks object right under Solidity version so that we will be able to deploy our contract to Phantom Testnet. So that's it, hardhead config is finished. And now let's create the .env file. And here inside the .env file, we will be adding these two variables, provider URL. This is the RPC endpoint to Phantom Testnet provided by the ANKR website. And this is the MetaMask private key of my MetaMask account. So you will have your private key. Okay, do not copy paste mine. Use your own private key, please. That's it. So the hardhead part, part is finished. Now let's clear up the console. MPX hardhead compile and then we will be deploying this Apple contract. So MPX, it's already compiled successfully. MPX hard head ignition deploy, ignition uh, modules, and inside the modules folder, we have Apple JS, and we will open a network option and we will be deploying it to Phantom Test. So now if I press enter, it, it, will, it will ask me a confirmation question. 
I will type Y, which means yes, here. And then it will deploy the contract. So as you can see, the contract is deployed. Now I can start the React part. Let's now make a cleanup first. Go to public folder, grab everything here except index.html, delete them. Then go to source folder, grab app.css, test.js, logo SVG, web vitals, setup tests, and delete them. Then inside the source folder, grab, uh, go to app.js, delete everything between the main due tags and also the first two import lines. Save it. Go to index CSS, grab everything here, delete it, and instead copy paste this. I will be providing this in this step by step guide so that you can just copy paste it uh, for your convenience. This is a simple CSS, it just, it's just some button styles because we will have some buttons to connect to smart contract. It's just some button styles, it's very simple. In CSS is finished. Now let's go to index.js, grab everything here, delete. Go here, delete, I mean this, that import line deleted, this one can stay. Go to index.html, so grab all those link tags, delete. Instead of saying react, you can say my app, and here this link tag, delete. No script, delete. This command lines, delete, but be very careful not to delete this, root div, that's it. Yeah, now we can create two folders, one of them, let's say, um, address ABI folder, because we will be saving the ABI and address of the contract which we have deployed inside this folder in two separate files. And also let's create a components folder, but not as a subfolder, but so as a as a folder of source, okay. So let's say com components. That's nice. Now let's create a simple component. We will name it as main.js. And inside this main.js, if you have a if you have a React uh, library installed on your VS Code, then you can just say RFCE, and it will already create a React component for you. Yeah, that's it. it. It looks nice now. And now let's close this. And yeah, and, and now let's go up to address ABI folder. And the first thing here is we will create a file named contract abi.js. And inside here we will be saying export const again, let's say contract ABI. Let's push, let's put square brackets now. And now let's go to artifacts contracts apple dot sol and here go to apple json and just copy everything here this abi you see the abi just copy this uh, but not the comma okay do not copy the comma delete this square tags and paste it the abi folder is ready why we are separating them and putting them in in these different files because imagine you have a long contract and then this ABI file will be like 400, 500, 600 lines. It, it's, it's, it can be very long. So it's every time better for you to put your contract ABI in a separate file, just like this. That's it. Now let's create the other folder. Contract address.js and again export const contract address is equal to what we already have the contract address here copy it paste it here that looks nice it's finished so now let's create our main component but before that we need to add main component to the app component so that we can see it and here we will be importing the main component with this import statement and then we will be adding it here like this. Let's say main. Well, that's it, it's finished. We added main component to the 
app it's the only component that we have now let's go back to main component so the first thing to do as you can see it's it's empty right now it doesn't have anything so the first thing to do is to add uh, use state here and we, because we will be using use state we will have two buttons to, I, will, I will show you soon and we will be also using gators to connect to smart contract from front end address abi and then contract abi and now we can create uh, the buttons and the paragraph tags. The first button here, it will connect us to MetaMask and it will display our MetaMask account inside this first paragraph tag. And the second button here, it will connect us to smart contract and it will display this data, city name, Nusaibin. Where it will display, it will display it here in this paragraph. That's it, you know, that's what we're going to do with this React uh, front end. And we need to describe the buttons just like we mentioned. And the second button will be connect to contract, connect to MetaMask, connect to contract. And then we will be creating two functions. One of them, again, connect MetaMask. The second one, connect contract. It's already self-describing. And we will also create two uh, variables uh, to dynamically fetch data uh, from use by using use state hook. We will soon create those uh, variables by using use state hook. And the second paragraph uh, variable, we can name it as paragraph two, paragraph one, paragraph two. You see it's easy. And now let's first uh, let's let's first fetch the Ethereum Ethereum object from the from the browser. And then we will create the, the first variable, I mean this paragraph. Uh, by using use state and the second one also we will create the same way and now we can create the first function const connect metamask and inside the first is uh, inside the connect metamask function we will be describing an if statement and with this if statement we will be checking if the window if the browser has ethereum object which means that it has metamask installed so if 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 it has MetaMask installed, it means that it will not return undefined, which means that we have MetaMask. So we can grab the accounts information. Accounts will be an array by using some special methods. And we are using some special methods to fetch those accounts information from this Ethereum. And then we will be saving it inside this variable. But we don't need all that, all that array of accounts we just need the we just need the first one the active one and we can grab this accounts information and display it in the console log just so that you can see it in the console and also we will display it in the in this paragraph as we have talked and so that's it you know that's how we connect the metamask and and now let's connect to contract and to, to connect the contract we can create a variable here later we will we will uh, we will we will we will instantiate our contract inside this component so that we can uh, use this variable here for some other button on clicks also for i mean in this exercise we will not be doing it but if you want to have a third button here then you better to have this variable outside of any function so that you can access the you can access the variables and functions of that contract okay right now it's an empty variable but soon we will we will instantiate our contract and put it inside this variable. And now let's create the function here. So it will be connect the contract and it will again be asynchronous. And let's open some space. And now we will first uh, fetch the provider. And now we can grab the signer. Signer is the account which is signing the transactions. Okay, I mean, like it's not something complicated, uh, but we need this provider and signer so that we can connect the smart contract. And then now we can create, we can instantiate the contract and put it inside this variable because we have already created the contract, right? Now what we are doing is to instantiate it, okay? And this is how you instantiate the contract with the Ethers package. You just say new Ethers contract. And then inside here, we will be putting the address, ABI and the signer, okay? So the address, we are fetching it from this file, contract address, the ABI, we are fetching it from this file, and the signer, we are getting it here, 
okay so we have instantiated our contract now we can call um, the methods I mean the, the the functions in our contract so let's go to our contract as you can see our contract doesn't have any function it just has a simple public variable a string variable which which is returning us nosaibin but on the background it acts like a function why it acts like a function because it's a public variable which means that we can access the value of this variable by calling it like a function that's why we are saying my city and, a f and this function symbol and then we are saving it inside this my data variable and now we can you know display this my data right inside this paragraph so to do that I'm saying set paragraph 2 and then my data and as a bonus you can also display this um, contract apple I mean the, the the contract which we have instantiated here contract apple and if you say contract apple target it will display the contract address in the console okay so our project is finished let's now save everything close this close this let's go here npm start so our react front end is ready now let's call let's connect the metamask my my metamask is already open and it when whenever i click this button it should display d35a account here so let's try it yes it displayed and now let's connect the contract yes so that's it that's how you connect react to a contract by using hardhat and eaters see you next time and also don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye